By the sea is salt. T is salt. By the sea is salt Norwegian. Cavern in some mailer pa have since bun. The mill that grinds at the bottom of the sea is a Norwegian. Fairy tale collected by Peter Christinus Jornsson and Georgian Mo in their Norsk Folkeventure. Andrew Lang included it in the Blue Fairy Book 1889. Synopsis A poor man begged from his brother on Christmas Eve. The brother promised him, depending on the variant, ham or bacon or a lamb if he would do something. The poor brother promised, the rich one handed over the food and told him to go to hell in Lang's version, the dead men's hall, in the Greek, the devil's dam. Since he promised, he set out. In the Norse variants, he meets an old man along the way. In some variants, the man begs from him, and he gives something. In all, the old man tells him that in hell or the hall, they will want to buy the food from him, but he must only sell it for the hand, mill behind the door, and come to him for directions to use it. It took a great deal of haggling, but the poor man succeeded, and the old man showed him how to use it. In the Greek, he nearly brought the lamb, and told the devils that he would take whatever they would give him, and they gave him the mill. He took it to his wife, and had it grind out everything they needed for Christmas, from lights to tablecloth to meat and ale. They ate well, and on the third day, they had a great feast. His brother was astounded, and when the poor man had drunk too much, or when the poor man's children innocently betrayed the secret, he showed his rich brother the hand mill. His brother finally persuaded him to sell it. In the Norse version, the poor brother didn't teach him how to handle it. He set to grind out herrings and broth, but it soon flooded his house. His brother wouldn't take it back until he paid him as much as he paid to have it. In the Greek, the brother set out to Constantinople by ship. In the Norse, one day a skipper wanted to buy the hand mill from him, and eventually persuaded him. In all versions, the new owner took it to sea and set it to grind out salt. It ground out salt until it sank the boat, and then went on grinding in the sea, turning the sea salty. Analysis The tale is classified in the Arne Thompson, other index type 565, the magic mill. Other tales of this type include the water mother and sweet porridge. Parallels It is a late parallel to the old Norse poem Grottasonger, found in Snorri Sturluson's Skaldskaparmal. Variants Georgios A. Megas collected a Greek variant the mill in folktales of Greece. Japanese scholar Kunio Yanagita listed some variants of the hand mill that ground out salt found in Japan, and even remarked that it was part of a group of tales speculated to have been imported into Japan. Fellow scholar Seki Kago reported 14 variants of the tale type in Japanese oral tradition. While recognizing that the story appears widely told in Europe, he also claimed that no version was found in India, and only one in China. Russian scholarship points out that the tale type is also very common among Slavic countries, as well as among Germanic, Celtic and Baltic, which seems to indicate a common shared myth about the nature of the sea. However, according to research Galina Kavakova, the tale type has been collected from the Russian populations of Lithuania and Latvia. Also, the tale type shows a sporadic presence in central Ukraine, apart from a great number of variants collected in Lithuania and Latvia. Variants are also present in Estonia, such as the tale why Das Wasser in near South Sig Jeward in how sea water became salty. Folklorist Wolfram Eberhardt stated that the tale type is found, particularly in Scandinavia.